Hey guys, well today I am getting ready to go see the Marvels. I'm going to go watch it with a friend of mine. And I swear, if the Marvel turns out to be a big failure, then I will roast the hell out of this movie. I am not kidding. I can actually garbage talk about this film. Anyway, I see you guys. When I come back... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Man... Well... As you can see, I just got back from the movies... And I am exhausted right now. Well, it was alright, I guess. I will talk more about the movie tomorrow because it's ten a half o'clock. And I gotta go to bed, so talk to you tomorrow. Whew. Well, about the Marvels, well, it does hold its own for a sequel, you know. There's half of the part that I don't understand and yike. Okay, before we get into this video, I'm going to give you five seconds to pause the video and go watch the movie yourself because I might spend spoiled some of the parts from the movie. If you haven't seen the Marvel, then I would recommend pausing the video and go watch the movie yourself before you continue. I'm I'm going to start the five minutes timer, all right? Now, in five, four, three, two, one. Well, this is your last chance, and zero. Well, if you didn't pause the video, then this is your fault. Not mine. So, here we go. Okay, I'm assuming this movie took place right after the Miss Marvel series. And it was sort of okay. And this movie also took place right after the Secret Invasion series. I haven't seen this show, but I don't care about watching it. Because I am not a big fan of comic book TV shows. Yeah, so basically both of these series are canon to the movies. Well, the plot of the movie is basically the three main characters being cursed or something. So they teleported 
or I may say switch places. Every time they start using their powers. Okay, at first, I considered this as a Freaky Friday cliché thing, but I'm just going to let that slide. Well, the pacing of this film is, like, crazy lightning fast. It was so fast pacing that the characters have a less reaction to what just happened. Well, Miss Marvel is the only one that has a reaction. And it was hilarious. She totally steal the show when it comes to personality. Well, despite the pacing issues, I noticed the fact it took the characters longer to realize their mistake in the rest of the movie. I mean, Carol has a moment of character development, and that's fine. But the other two main characters did not. Well, barely. Okay, I know it's a PG-13 movie, but... This movie kinda went kid-friendly for a moment. The kid-friendly vibe just really overshadowed the story. Especially the one scene when Carol danced with a prince and embarrassed herself by singing. Okay, that scene was weird. Me and my friend were pissed about that because I don't need to see superheroes doing musical numbers. Well, if it was a multiverse music battle, then that would be fine. It's just all about two fictional characters singing and roasting each other. So that's different. But when it comes to that, hell no. Okay, let's talk about the main villain in this movie. I have no idea who she is, and I guess she called herself Darbin. She was a very tough opponent in this movie, but her motivation was weak. According to her backstory from the movie, she was part of the creed, and then Carol destroyed and killed her people, and that's it. With the movie being fast-paced, it did not give us enough details about this backstory. It, it did not show much of Starbin backstory, and that was disappointing. Will the Black Panther movie give us some more details about the villain Killmonger? Even Blue Beetle give us some 
little bit of the villain's more backstories. So, when it comes to villain's motivation, the Marvel clearly did not do a good job on that. Well, other than that, there are some of the parts that I actually liked. Kamala has a decent arc in this film. When I watched the Miss Marvel series, I did not care about her that much. Well, I don't know why, but she is just a forgettable main character to me. But in the Marvels, well, I was starting to have some little connection with Kamala, just like I did with Stargirl. Well, the fight scenes in the beginning was awesome and a fun time, but the rest of the fight scenes, including the final battle, well, it was meh. Hey, I am not saying the fight scenes are not good. It was somewhat decent. The fight scene from the beginning is my favorite out of all of the scenes, and that's it. I mean, you can clearly tell that Disney has tried. Well, another positive thing about this movie, I enjoyed the interaction between Carol and Kamala. I know she is a fan of Captain Marvel. And I like how Kamala was able to learn something from Carol. But overall, it just comes out disappointing. And it is so funny because it is so ridiculous. But it wasn't all that bad. Bad. It's just so ridiculous that is funny. I mean, I had a few laugh from this movie. Anyway, there's like an ending scene when they recruited some new heroes to come up with a new Avengers. Okay, if you guys didn't know who that is, she is from the Hawk. Guy series, and it was kind of boring, but kind of good. And there's a post credit scenes where Monica ended up in a nether universe where her mom was alive, but except that she is Captain Rainbow or whatever they call her. And then we saw the bees from the X-Men. 
Me and my friend were surprised about that. I think the MCU are planning to make another X-Men movie or something. And that's all I'm going to say for today. Okay, honestly, I sort of yiked the movie, but deep down, I know there's something wrong with it, and I can't deny it. It wasn't the best Marvel movie, but... I will say it's a masterpiece. So yeah, the Marvels was okay. It was a little better than the Flash movie. No argument. Well, in fact, this movie is in fact good enough to make it to the best list. Well, only because Captain Marvel has a character development, and that's all that matters to make the movie good. So yeah, the Marvel was underrated, but it is not something that I would watch again. So I'm going to give the Marvel a decent 5 out of 10. <sighs> Anyway, comment down below and tell me your own opinion. What do you think about the Marvels?